back in 98, I was working with another individual and my boss called me and said, Rita, I'm going to pick you up when you're off work. I want to take you to meet somebody. And I said, okay. <laughs> so she took me to meet Travis. They were having a meeting. They took me into his bedroom, introduced me and left us. And it was like, I don't know this child. He doesn't know me. Um, but we visited for for a little while while they had their meeting. And on our way out the door, his parents said, will you keep him this weekend? And I looked at my boss and she said, if you want to, I said, sure. So Travis came home for the weekend um, and we thoroughly enjoyed ourselves. And every weekend then he would come and spend the weekend with us. Um, so it gave us time to get to know each other. It gave Travis time to learned that we were going to pick him up out of his chair and cuddle with him and we were going to dance with him and we were going to have a lot of fun um, because he wasn't accustomed to that. Uh, we are so blessed. <laughs> um, when life sharing was finally put on the table and everybody could agree on it, um, my boss came to me and said, do you want Travis? Sissy uh, was adopted by a family in uh, West, Count West Erie County when she was five. She had been taken from her family because of abuse and neglect. And she was raised by this very nice family. And then they became elderly and Sissy was placed in an EHCA group home. Uh, actually moved around to a couple different group homes. and. My daughter at one point happened to have a job at one of those group homes and she fell in love with Sissy. So then a couple years later, Sissy was recommended for life sharing and it all just seemed to come together. It really just seemed like it was meant to be fate. I guess it was fate. Um, and I'm so happy that it happened that way because I never really, like I said, I never really considered life sharing before, but then after I did it, I wondered why I hadn't done it sooner because it's just a delight. She delights me every day. She's so funny and such a remarkable lady. Life sharing gives the individual and the family the opportunity to choose a family that they would like to live with. Rather than going into a group home, they continue to have the same family support them throughout their day. Licensed life sharing is for families who are seeking residential placement for their loved one with a disability. They want to continue that family atmosphere. They want to continue that family vibe that their loved one has had for all these years. In 2018, EHCA continued their expansion of their life sharing program, offering unlicensed life sharing to families, giving the families the opportunity to support their loved one at home. The families are supported 24 seven by our EHCA staff, and they're also paid a generous compensation. We were at a stage where we didn't know the answer. Uh, Jonathan was in a group home, which we thought was the perfect fit for him because he thrives on structure. The first decision was, this isn't okay for us, but we don't know what the answer is. We started asking questions and we were referred to call Melissa Love. And so that was the beginning. This, <laughs> this week alone, you know, um, we had a campfire last night and he was part of it and then said goodnight to everybody and the rest of us were able to stay up talking and this morning it was like, you know, I thought I was up early. He was completely dressed, had his list. I was like, oh, it's Thursday. So I talked with the family. I said, Jonathan and I are going to be with you guys, loving you guys. Jonathan way because he you know he gave up a lot so be sure you want to do this um, because 
you don't get them back, you know. <laughs> You're going to have bad days. You're going to have good days, but most of them are going to be good. Patience, you know, and I know that sounds so mundane and cliche to say, but really patience, an open mind. There's a reason why there's a program like this, you know. Individuals need the help, and if you go into it knowing that, having that concept, that idea in your head, I think you can, you can do it and, and, and find it fulfilling at the same time. I mean, if someone said that the life sharing program was ending tomorrow, Sissy would still live with us uh, because she's, she's with us now. Huh? You're part of the family now. So I would just encourage people to just learn as much as you can and don't be nervous if you try it and you feel like you shouldn't have done that right off the bat because it does get better and you do get used to it and, and then you just wonder why you didn't do it before. If you're interested in becoming a life sharing provider, if you have the patience and you can open your heart and your home to an individual with a disability, please reach out to us here at EHCA. We would be happy to assist you.